Who do you think is the most extraordinary scientific mind? There is no contest. Isaac Newton. Nobody comes close. Explain why. He, working alone, discovers the laws of motion. Then he discovers the law of gravity, universal law of gravitation. Oh, and then someone asked, why do your planets orbit in this shape, ellipses, the ovals, rather than perfect circle? It's like, I don't know, I, I'll get back to you. And he goes home and he comes back, I finally have my answer. And they said, well, Isaac, how did you do that? Well, I had to invent integral and differential calculus to answer that question. He then discovers the laws of optics, deducing that white light is composed of colors. So he does all of this, then he turns 26. <laughs> great scientists are marked not by their answers, but by how great their questions are. One of them is, I wonder if the stars of the night sky are just like our sun, but just much, much farther away. Hmm. His questions, we, I'm looking at it 200 years in the future of those questions. I say, this man is on every single question. And he has this astonishing quote. I will mangle it only a little bit. He says, sometimes I feel as a child on the ocean shore, picking up one pebble over another because it's shinier. Yet the great ocean of undiscovered truths lay before me. That's Isaac Newton, humbled by what he knew he didn't yet know, yet what he figured out transformed us all.